What's up you guys? Thank you for coming to my channel. I love you. Hello. You look fucking, oh, let me not swear. You look fabulous. So I look a little messy. I won't lie. Um, this week has been just as wonderful as it has been rough. So I started working. You know what? Let me, let me tell you what this video is about and then we'll do all of that. So obviously, you know, by the title, we are doing a McDonald's mukbang. Basically, I'm just eating with you guys on camera and I got a shamrock shake, which I'm very excited about because I haven't had one of these in years. And from what I remember, they're so good and they turned my shit green, but um, they tasted good. So there's that. But let me show you what I quickly got and then we will get to banging, you know, muck banging. Yes. <laughs> Although, I mean, I'm just kidding. All right, anyway. All right, so I have a beautiful junior chicken. And this is typically what I get from McDonald's when I go. And I did ask for some pickles. Life hack. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. You guys, I've been eating McDonald's um, a lot recently. Not a lot. The last time I ate McDonald's, I filmed it. So whenever that was, um, a cheeseburger. Oh, well, something's happening with this light over here. Okay. And a, a poutine. Okay. So what I was trying to say before is I am exhausted. I am literally so tired from work. Oh my God, these bitches did not give me, oh, there it is, never mind. Wonderful. Um, I've been so tired from work because I started working again and I forgot that it was basically physical labor. Um, you know, not really. And, you know, I'm very grateful and appreciative of my job. I work as a bridal consultant which sounds very glamorous, you know. Um, I'm very honored to, you know, have my job, but damn, it is a lot of physical work. I'm like literally on my feet all the time, except for when I'm having lunch. It's, it's pure madness. Um, it's very rewarding though. And, you know, I work in a great environment. Let me try some of this. Yum. Can I hold all of this at the same time? But yeah, it's been physically exhausting, especially having three months off and getting back to work. But, um, oh my God, this other day I was coming home from work and I take the bus because I think my parents like sold my car. I don't even know. I don't even want to ask because I'm going to be heartbroken. Also, the shamrock shake is so fucking good. Whoever doesn't like shamrock shakes, like get your taste buds fixed. Uh, heavenly okay but I was going home from work and I was waiting for the bus at a bus stop as one does and there's this other um, person there this looks like crap what the fuck if you're Canadian you know this ain't it I mean maybe it is because I kind of also couldn't decide between fries and um, a poutine so maybe I got the best of both Okay. Okay. My brain's tired. So it's hard for me to kind of keep on track. Um, 
but I was at this bus stop and a like older gentleman, not too old, he looks like someone's like European grandfather with one of those like basket cart things. I'll put a photo here or something if I, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about. But he literally just started talking madness to me and um, came up this close to my face and was like, mind you, it's we're still in the pandemic. Um, came up this close to my face and said, I used to live down the street in 1995. And you know, I don't have a response for that. Also, I'm very tired after after work. I'm not trying to make small talk with people I don't know, especially in Toronto, okay? And um, so I literally go like this and he's like getting closer and closer and I'm like backing the fuck up. Thankfully, the bus comes just in time. And so I sit at the back of the bus because I'm like, oh, let me hide from this guy, you know? And then he sits down like but right behind me and says, actually it was 18, 1985. And I'm like, that's good, thank you. And I just like move to the front of the bus because I'm not trying to deal with shenanigans. So today I have another like weird story. Um, also, these are my natural nail. Mm. You know, these three are going strong. <laughs> the rest need some work. Anyway, back to the story. Um, I was walking to pick up all this, you know, food, the shamrock shake, all of that. And um, this lady who was dressed lovely, by the way, um, <laughs> asked me if I have some, actually she goes like this. She's like, excuse me, do you have, can you, no, no, no. She goes, excuse me can you do me a favor? And I said, um, well, it depends what it is. And she goes, do you have any money I could borrow? And I literally didn't have money. So I told her, um, I only have my credit card. I'm sorry. And she goes, you lying bitch. And like literally turns around. So, um, this has all been within the matter of two days. And I'm just wondering what kind of energy, you know, shift I'm on that's attracting this because I've been feeling really good and I don't know, I'm just getting a lot of weird vibes from, you know, crackheads and like weird people and stuff. Maybe they're not on crack, but they're just being weird. But, um, yeah. I'm like what? What? First of all, I literally don't have change and I always try to give back to like, not, I don't think giving back is the right word for it, but I always try to give to, um, you know, people that don't have change. Cause I would give anyone change if I have spare change, because if I'm not using it here, you know, um, but no, honestly, that was crazy. She literally turned around, she's like, you blind bitch. Like, girl, I only have a credit card. I don't know what to tell you. Excuse me for carrying around, you know, no one carries around cash anymore. Let's be real. It was so funny. What if I like thought it was a test and she failed? You know? I hope nothing like this happens again because the energy right now in Toronto, I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird time, okay? Okay. So this poutine is not hitting how it usually does. It's still really good. People are crazy. Oh my god. This is what happens when you leave the house, you know? This is what happens. Oh my god. Also, dating update. So, low key, I have a confession. I saw that um, Russian guy again. Which, um, if you watched my worst dates ever part two, I'm pretty sure I talk about him and he's the like 
I would say he's the ultimate um, worst date of them all. And when I say date, I mean like I hung out with them. Um, this guy I hung out with like a few times and I regret every single moment. So, oh, also I think I was with him when I was being like love bombed. I forget what that video was. What was that video? I think it was like just some sort of vlog. Anyway, my last like thing um, I'm pretty sure I talked about him in it because it was just so bizarre. He bought me like everything and then, oh my god. Girl, honestly, even talking about it, like I'm, I'm just a little bit stressed out, but it's fine. So I knew I shouldn't have gone through, like I literally asked like my spirit guides. Like I have a pendulum, let me show you. Because honestly, it's just been so lonely. Obviously, well, not obviously, but I live alone, you know, 21. Like, what's a girl to do, right? And um, it's hard to make, like, girlfriends. So I make boyfriends. I don't know what to say. The bars aren't open. I can't go on, like, Bumble Friends. Like, that would be weird. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. But I do have this... Um, pendulum that a psychic gave to me and I've had it ever since I was 12 years old I don't use it all the time unless I'm like really in a like kerfuffle you know and I need some answers and I can't make like my own decision so I did like my tarot cards I used the pendulum and I'm like should I go on this um date like should I hang out with him and basically um the card that I pulled, it wasn't like tarot cards, it's like universe cards, they'll have like little messages if you know what I mean. And so my card said forgive and it kept showing up, right? Like it kept showing um, up, I would like reshuffle and it would be the same card. Like it would be the third time I would reshuffle, it would like fall out, so I'm like okay. I think it means forgive, so I'm like maybe I'll go. Um, that doesn't feel right, so I do the pendulum and I'm like should I do this, should I go through? And then um, basically what it said was no. <laughs> I'm like, that sounds about right, you know. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. So I did, and he brought me flowers. Actually these ones that are dying over here. So that, and then he bought me um, what else happened? Oh yeah, so you know, we just went around went for a drive, came back here, um, you know, we made out and stuff, and um, that was that. And then, because I love the attention, I guess, um, we hung out again, and this time he bought me wine, he bought me vodka, he bought me tequila, another thing of vodka. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like he's literally buying me everything. And then he's like, I wanna like get you sushi. So he gets me like a 78 piece of sushi. I'm not, well, I did eat all of it. I was gonna say I'm not gonna eat all of it, but I did eat all of it. Um, so he bought that, like he just kept buying me shit. And do you know what that's called? It's called love bombing. So don't fall for that. I would never fall for that. Um, I didn't fall for that. I will accept any gift given to me, but I will understand if it's not given me with the best, or sorry, if it's not given to me with the best intentions. And that's his personal problem. I didn't want him to pay for all this stuff. And actually, I wanted to pay for the sushi, but if he didn't let me, whatever. So, that's that. We eat the sushi, drink, life goes on. Um, then, you know, we part our ways, whatever. And I'm just like, you know, doing my life, doing my thing, you know. One day... A couple days later, I'm sleeping, I'm watching like movies in bed, TikToks, all of that. Fall asleep, my phone dies, I didn't charge it. A 
Oh my God, let me back up. So I don't want to say I'm nosy, but I am. So before, um, you know, the last time we hung out, I saw on his phone, this girl said that I love you to him, right? Her name's like, let me not say her name because, you know, I'm sure she's a great person. Um, but she says, I love you to him. And I'm just like, oh my God, like you have someone saying like, I love you. Like, that's pretty deep if you're like single. I don't know. Anyway. So she's saying like, I love you. Honestly, the people in Toronto are really dumb because, <laughs> not sorry, not the people in Toronto. The younger people are really dumb. You know what? Let me not say that. The girls who dated the guys that I went out with are really dumb. I'm not going to put myself in that category because I would hang out with the... Okay. Maybe I should be in that category. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put myself in a separate category, like nearly dumb, but like got out in an okay time. Because if you're continuing a relationship with, with these people and you're not catching all the red flags and you like legitimately love them that is where my concern comes in because me um i would say the difference is you know i knew what was happening i knew i wasn't interested let's make this physical you know what i'm saying that's also not a good idea but you know the cat wants what it wants what can i do um Okay. Mm-mm. But yeah, so that was like a whole thing. We was like, yeah, like she loves me. I don't love her. I love you. I'm like, wonderful. That's great. Thank you. You know, I don't love him. Why would well, you know, I literally don't. But um Ooh, she's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is wonderful. I needed that today. I really did. I gained a little bit of weight over COVID as well. I'm oh, sorry. I never had COVID over the time off as well and it looks good i am looking like kind of thick you know well i wouldn't say thick. i'm still small but like i'm like a healthy weight and that's amazing and um because i'm working so much and i'm always on my feet i'm scared i'm gonna lose it but hopefully mcdonald's help i did have a donut today as well and a bunch of like protein. So, you know, maybe I'll keep the weight. I forgot what I was talking about. Hmm. Oh yeah. So basically, fast forward to what I was talking about before. Um, I fell asleep after watching like TikToks this one night and um, my phone died and you know when I woke up the next day I charged it, I turned on my phone and there's a message from him saying oh like I had a dream about you last night at like 3 a.m. is when I get that message and I obviously didn't answer because my phone's sleeping also it's 3 a.m. I'm not texting people at 3 a.m. unless I'm drunk and I, I wasn't drunk And then at 9 a.m., 9 a.m., I get another message. I'm still asleep at this time, by the way. I get another message saying, um, fuck you, this is your real face. I forget what else he said because shit is just so ridiculous. Um, but I'm literally just like, I don't even know why I gave any attention to that, but I literally just said like, fuck you. Um, 
And then he said something being like, oh, I had a surprise for you March um, 8th or something like that. And I'm like, wonderful. Like, go take someone that cares, you know? Like, um, yeah, I literally don't give a fuck. It's so just like distressing to me. <sighs> just ever having to deal with any of that. Um, so annoying. Anyway. <laughs> I do have to say I feel um, a lot better. <laughs> Although very single. But hey, thriving at the same time, you know? So there's that. Oh my god. Also, the funniest, most craziest stuff has been happening. Some sort of energy shift, like, is going on. I just know it. I just feel it. So, um, I've always been, like, super spiritual. Like, I think my mom gave me the book of Law of Attraction when I was, like, really young. Um, you know, I went to a psychic when I was, like, 12. Um, my mom's just always been into the stuff, which... Thank God, because it's gotten me into this stuff and um, my soul kind of just like cherishes it, you know? So anyway, basically during, I'll just say this, I was in a relationship for like one and a half to two years or whatever the hell it was. And my spiritual side was literally just like gone. And I remember I kept saying, and I would like voice it to him too. Like I just... Like, I just feel like my connection with the universe is just, like, gone. And once we broke up, I literally just felt all of that, like, coming back. So, don't let anyone, like, take away your, like, true self. Um, but, besides the point, I've been, like, really getting back into that side of myself, which ah, I'm so happy about. And, um, it's been terrific, truthfully. So I've been doing a lot of manifesting lately, not a lot, but like a good amount. And I've been manifesting like these little things too without trying. So I'm just gonna tell you some funny stories. I think they're pretty cool. Maybe they're not pretty cool. <laughs> you let me know. But um, I was thinking of a donut, right? And I'm like, mm, like I just want a donut. And then I show up to work and there's a box of donuts. And I know that's really small, but this next one I think is really cool. So I need a new work clothes, right? You can see my Valley Village, you know, shopping haul or whatever. Um, but I needed new clothes for work. So I went to Valley Village and I had it in mind, like I need a long sleeve black turtleneck dress and it's gonna be my work dress. And I couldn't find it. I was really disappointed because I just like had it in my head. Like I visualized like, you know, just wearing it to work and how good I would look and all of that. And then I um, receive mail. So like I said, I couldn't find it, but I go home a couple days later, I receive mail from um, my parents who live in Waterloo and I open it and it's a fucking turtleneck dress black long sleeve like literal the exact one I had in my head bitch what like where's my husband if I'm having all of this stuff show up you know but I just think it's like little signs being like you know everything's kind of coming your way and keep a positive attitude and I love it oh my god so yeah <laughs> Let's have this junior chicken.
Mhm. 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 You guys have to add pickles to your junior chicken next time. Chicken and pickles don't play, okay? Truly. Anyways, how are you guys? Aw, cute. Okay, well, sorry to hear that. <laughs> So good. Mm, mm, mm. Amen. Shout out to the Irish this month. My mom is actually, um, her family's Irish. Not like very Irish. I think there's like Irish somewhere in there. Actually, I think my dad is more Irish than my mom, to be honest with you. I'm tired. <laughs> okay. You know what, you guys? My brain is dead. Oh, you know what? Before we go, um, I today was walking to work and I got off the bus and I saw people sleeping in a bank and it literally broke my heart. Their faces were covered. They had like sleeping bags and oh, my heart just like shattered because, um, I mean, I just have so much. I'm getting a little bit emotional, but I'm not going to cry because I'm a bad bitch. Bad bitches do cry too, but I don't feel like crying. <laughs> But um, yeah, it just, I don't know. I'm just so grateful because I have so much. But um, at the same time, it's like, what ways can I give back? Because, you know, I'm working uh, for my money. I have, um, you know, all these bills and just like everything to pay. And, you know, I got to save. I got to make a life for myself. I have to do all of that. So, of course, I can give what I can, but how far does that really take, like, homeless communities, you know? So, I really want to do some more research on, like, um, like, how can we change homeless communities, right? Because my thing is, I want to be, like, so rich, obviously, um, but then also, what can we do about the fucking homeless, right? Like... <laughs> And who cares, like, what you think of them? Like, whether you think they're, like, um, lazy or don't work for their money or, like, you know, whatever the case is, it doesn't matter. Like, literally everyone deserves to feel safe. So, um, well, maybe not everyone. <laughs> but, like, you know, most majority, I want to stick with my original um, statement there. But, like, what else can we do, you know? Um, so, if you guys have any ideas, definitely share them with me because this is going to be, like, a possible new passion project of mine. Because it just, something isn't sitting right with that, um, with me. Especially, like, the prices of just housing, rent, all of that in Toronto just makes absolutely fucking no sense. Um, or in a lot of places, like New York, like, um, I don't know where the hell else, but like, isn't that, I don't know, it's crazy. But yeah, if you have ideas, let me know. You can also DM me on Instagram. And yeah, I'm going to end the video here. One, because I'm full. Two, because um, I'm tired. I'm partially brain dead right now. And...
yeah so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed um give me a thumbs up okay and yeah again i you know i do tend to upload on wednesdays fridays and sundays so two to three times a week and i'm trying my best now that i work um full time too so yes support me on my youtube journey let's be friends yes but i will see you guys in the future and i hope you have a wonderful 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 day and i will talk to you soon bye